Hey guys, and welcome back to another Halloween video. Today I have my first classic building review of the season. Yes, yeah, so I teased this in prior videos and even on my social media that I will be doing classic retired buildings from now on up until hopefully Halloween. And um, it's mostly Lemax Spooky Town, but today I'm talking about a Department 56 piece. And um, I have some really great and some very rare buildings coming up. But for today, to do the honors for my first classic review, I have an excellent building. This is the Department 56 Haunted Windmill. So this piece came out in 2003 and was retired in 2006, so it is actually in production for a little bit longer than most Department 56 buildings. And uh, it has a well-earned reputation for being one of Department 56's best. So the first thing to note about this piece, the paint and detail on it is prime time Department 56. All the little touches on it, uh, whether it be, you know, the tears and the weathering, on the wind blades to the walkway at the front actually having real sand built into it. Um, this is peak Spooky Village paint from any company and it's really phenomenal. Um, of course, as you can see here, the piece is animated, uh, the wind blades rotate. It does take a little bit of assembly, uh, but I'll address that closer to the end of the video to, uh, and I'll show you how to set it up. So, as far as theming goes on this piece, to me, this is excellent for a haunted farm theme, which is one of my favorite themes. Um, later in the season, I'll be talking about a retired Lemax piece that I think goes with it great. But um, if you wanted to do something else, this would also work in a town theme. Uh, more so like an abandoned ghost town vibe. It's less of, you know, something that's more lively, like say, one of the Lemax town pieces. This is more like an, a, a scary, uh, abandoned style uh, town piece. So. You could work for that definitely, but again, I think the farm theme is uh, where this thing really shines. And um, again, like I mentioned, the detail is amazing on this. Um, the wind blades, like I said, you have these jack-o'-lanterns that are at the front, uh, which I'm always a fan of. You have this uh, fence that's around the building, and I love the black cat that's on it. You have this sign here that says the Haunts Mill sign, and of course the coolest thing about it, in my opinion, this tree here with the vultures and the uh, crows on it. It looks great. Now, something else to say on this piece that's uh, very important, I mention it. This building has, I think, one of the best soundtracks on any village piece I've ever, I've ever heard. So yeah, I'll play the sound in just a moment here, you know, like I do. Uh, I play the sound at the end. It is fantastic though. It is just an, uh, it's just a creepy ambient soundtrack. There's no music, there's no dialogue. And um, I think that the sound for this one is perfect for a farm theme. Again, I think it's one of the best ones that you're going to get from uh, any building in this hobby. So uh, let me critique it real quick. Really, the only thing I could possibly critique on it is it's not very well lit. So you can see here there's a bulb inside of the building, and uh, that's mainly the main source of lighting. But uh, on top of the piece, you do have these uh, little skull lights that light up green. Those are on a couple Department 56 buildings, so um, that does add a little bit more to it. But um, yeah, lighting-wise, it's not that elaborate, and um, I think it would look better with maybe some of those purple lights from Lemax. But that's really the only critique I have for this piece. So again, to see that this is what the wind blades look like. This is how they come in the box. You have to uh, uh, screw them into this little hole that's at the front. This is the switch to uh, start the music. And uh, on the back of the building, you do have a volume control, so you can control the volume on it. So that's really cool. Alright guys, so that was the Haunted Windmill. Again, minus the lighting thing, I think this is about as good as it gets as far as a Halloween Village building goes. It just looks amazing. The detail is incredible. The soundtrack is amazing. And um, yeah, it's just also, it's kind of hard to not like a good uh, spooky windmill, so... Yeah, I'm a big fan of this piece. Uh, this will be going in my Hall of Fame playlist. And I'm, yeah, just really fantastic stuff. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for my uh, for my first classic building review. Um, again, this is a great piece to do it with. Um, to tease what I'm going to be doing next time, we're going to be going to Lemax Spooky Town. We're going to be getting a little bit of physical therapy, insidious physical therapy. So, anyways. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all are looking forward to all the classic buildings. And uh, here it is with the sound. And you're going to want to hear the sound on this one.